So here we have a problem, the hanging mass supported by a spring. We're given the mass and the spring constant, and we're asked to find the initial displacement given to the system such that the mass oscillates over a total range of four meters. And we're asked to assume the initial perturbation velocity is 10 meters per second. So we'll start with creating the equation of motion of the system. And I'm going to start this with a free body diagram of the system at equilibrium. So we've got our mass with a force of gravity, and we have a spring force. Because it's important to note, this is not the unstretched length of the spring. The mass, as it's hanging there statically, is stretching the spring. Because the string, the spring is stretched, there is a spring force, even at equilibrium. We'll note that the positive direction of x is downwards. So we'll find sum of forces in x. We get a positive force of gravity minus the force of the spring equals zero because it's, of course, static at this point. Okay. So we'll substitute in our known values of mg for the force of gravity minus k, x at equilibrium. And x at equilibrium is whatever the stretch is after we hung that weight off the spring. That equals zero, and we find that mg equals k x at equilibrium. This is in fact always true for these problems, and so you can skip doing this step, but I think it's, uh, it's clearer to go through it. So now we're going to do the free body diagram in the perturbed case. So what we've done is we've taken this mass and we've actually moved it downwards by a certain distance, x. So we still have the force of gravity and we still have spring force. We'll do the sum of forces in x. We've got the force of gravity. Again, positive is downwards. Uh, this is spring force equals ma, because now we have a system that is going to start moving. And we'll rewrite that as mx double dot. So we can write our mg as the force of gravity. Now we have, for the force of the spring, initially we had a stretch of x equilibrium, and now we've added an additional stretch. So the force of the spring is k x equilibrium plus x. And that is again equal to mx double dot. So we're just going to rewrite this again. mg minus k x equilibrium minus kx equals mx double dot. Now these two terms we saw above are equal to zero. So they cancel out. And what we're left with Rearranging it into standard form, mx double dot plus kx equals zero. So we've got all terms are positive. That's good, that's what we want to see. And mg, or the force of gravity, is not included in this equation. So you can go straight to this equation if you know that mg equals to kx equilibrium. But sometimes, just to be certain, you can do this two-step process. So if we write this in now in normal form, we get x double dot plus k over m x equals zero. And that's the same as x double dot plus omega n squared 
for the angular natural frequency times x equals zero. So we can find that omega n squared equals k over m for this system. And if we put in the numbers we have from the problem, 500 newtons per meter over five kilos, and we get an angular natural frequency of 100 rads per second squared. Now that we know what our system is like, we can apply this to find the value we're asked for. So we know the solution to this system, x of t, so the position of the system at any point in time, equals c sine omega nt plus phi. And we know that c equals the amplitude is given as the square root of v naught squared, or the initial velocity, over omega n squared plus x naught squared. So if we draw the motion of this system, simple harmonic motion, sine wave, we can see the amplitude or the maximum peak distance from equilibrium is c. We're asking this question for the total range. The total range is 2c. So we're told 2c has to be equal to 4 meters. So we can say 2c equals 4 meters equals 2 times the square root of v naught squared over omega n squared plus x naught squared, and we're looking for x naught. So this equals 2 times the square root v naught squared, that's 10 squared. We know omega naught squared is 100. That's going to equal to 1 plus x naught squared. This is going to cancel to give 2. So we've got 2 equals the square root of 1 plus x naught squared. Four equals one plus x naught squared. Three equals x naught squared. And then we get that x naught for the system equals 1.73 meters. And that is the initial displacement that will get you a system that moves exactly four meters in total range.